Welcome to the epicenter. Are you ready for the next earthquake? Do you have earthquake insurance? Did you know that if you're a renter, you can also get earthquake insurance? On today's episode of Stay Safe, we're gonna to talk to Janiel Maffei from the California Earthquake Authority. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stay Safe. I'm Patrick Odellini, Chief Resilience Officer and Director of Earthquake Safety for the City and County of San Francisco. I'm joined here today by my good friend, Janiel Maffei, who's the Chief Mitigation Officer for the California Earthquake Authority, and we're here at the Epicenter. The Epicenter is a project the City and County of San Francisco started in 2013 to get the community together and talk about all of the risks that we face when we think about earthquakes in our great city. And even behind us today, you can see one of our demonstrations. We've built this model house here. And in some of our other episodes, which I encourage you to see, you'll see us retrofitting some of these houses and showing some of these solutions that you as homeowners or you as property owners in San Francisco can begin to employ in your buildings. Janiel, um, you work for the California Earthquake Authority. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your role there, but also talk to us about earthquake insurance. I think our viewers would love to know whether you're you know, a renter, whether you're a property owner, how did these earthquake insurance issues begin to come, come into your world? Right, so I'm the Chief Mitigation Officer for the California Earthquake Authority, or CEA, and we are a privately funded, publicly managed entity that provides earthquake insurance to single family dwellings from one to four units, mobile home homeowners, to uh, condominium owners, and to renters throughout the state of California. And what makes the CEA different than any other insurance agency? So the CEA works with 19 participating insurers. So that would be the same insurer that sells you your homeowner's policy would offer you your earthquake insurance. You're not obligated to buy it, but if you buy it through them, then you're buying a CEA policy. And if I have homeowner's insurance on my property, am I covered in the event of an earthquake? No, that's an important question because California homeowners need to understand that their homeowner's policy does not cover earthquake insurance. They need a separate policy. And if their insurance company is one of our participating insurers, they can get the CEA's earthquake insurance policy. So explain to me, Janelle, why it's important and why the CEA is different than a traditional insurance agency and why, why they exist in this space to provide earthquake insurance. Right. So in the 80s, the state of California passed a law that required any company that was writing homeowners insurance policies to offer earthquake insurance. The homeowner is not under any obligation to buy it, but they have to offer it. Following the Northridge earthquake, there was so much loss that was paid by companies that they were going to stop writing insurance policies in the state. So the CEA was created to solve a very serious insurance problem in the state of California. We've talked a lot about you know, homeowners buying these insurance policies, but in San Francisco, about 70% of our population is renters. Right. What are my options if I'm a renter? Right, well the options for renters are actually very good. Renters earthquake insurance is actually very affordable, and I think people don't realize just exactly what it covers. It covers not only your property that may be damaged, but it also covers loss of use. For example, if you have to be out of the building, they had a water main that was broken or some other reason, as well as emergency repairs. If there is glass breakage in your carpet and you need to have somebody come in there so you can be in your unit, um, that's when this earthquake insurance can be very, very useful. And your title is a fascinating one. You're the Chief Mitigation Officer for the California Earthquake Authority. When I think of insurance, a lot of times I don't think about mitigation. What does your role mean to the CEA? Right. So as part of its public-facing mission, when the CEA was created, they started to put aside a mitigation lost fund. They take 5% of investment income into this fund. And when I joined the company four years ago, we had $25 million to make a difference promoting, incentivizing, um, mitigation for California homeowners. And so as a structural engineer, it's a unique opportunity to serve California homeowners in helping them mitigate potential vulnerabilities in earthquakes. And whether I'm a, an owner or a renter and I want to find out more information about earthquake insurance, where should I go? So earthquakeauthority.com. Not only is there information about insurance, but there's a premium calculator that people can play with. As of January 1st, we'll have lots of choices in terms of deductibles, as well as up to 20% for a hazard reduction discount. If a homeowner mitigates their home, they can get up to 20% off of their premium uh, as an incentive to do that very important work. And what does mitigate the home mean? Mitigate the home. Mitigate, strengthen, renovate, uh, retrofit, all of those mean that you go into a home that's 
particularly those that are older and built to, to earlier codes, and you put in additional strengthening. It may be anchor bolts to tie it to the foundation, plywood under the house in the cripple wall area to make it so that it's braced to earthquakes. Um, it can be very, very affordable and really makes a difference in an earthquake. Well, Janiel, thank you so much for being with us today, and I encourage our viewers not only to check out the Earthquake Authority's website, but also to see some of our other episodes where we'll talk about some of the other California earthquake programs like Earthquake Brace and Bolt. I'm Patrick Odellini. Stay safe.